Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and today we're going to be talking about the software that you need to connect your Pegasus Astro flat panel and also connect that to Nina. Now, the flat panel is used to get calibration frames known as flat frames, and those are very crucial to having a quality image. I'm sure everyone has heard that you need a good foundation no matter what you do. And this is part of the foundation that you'll need to get the quality images that you're looking for. And even though there are many ways to get your flat frames, this coupled with Nina's flat wizard is by far the easiest way to get flat frames. Um, so let's hop over to my computer. I'm gonna show you the software that you need and how to connect this to Nina. So the first thing you want to do is open up your favorite web browser and go to google.com. And there is a prerequisite, and that's ASCOM. So if you don't have ASCOM downloaded, please go ahead and do that now, as you're going to need it. I'm going to include a link to the ASCOM website in the description of this video, as well as a link to my video where I go over installing ASCOM. So if you need a tutorial video, please go ahead and watch that. Uh, and as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can leave a comment on this video or email me at hiddenlightinquiries at gmail.com. Uh, also, if you find this video helpful or if you've been following along and haven't done so yet, please like and subscribe. Um, and if you have ASCOM, let's continue. So go to google.com and what you're going to do is go to Pegasus Astro. If you don't see it pop up, what you're going to do is just keep on typing until you see it pop up. And we want PegasusAstro.com. So we're going to go here. And then we're going to click on Download Unity. And this is what we want right here. Now, take note of this. Make sure you have ASCOM release version 6.6 .6 SP1. Uh, this is just the operation instructions for the Unity platform. Now, I already have this installed, so I'm not going to do it again. But what you're going to do is click here. And depending on your system, in the top right corner, you'll see a downloads box pop up. And that looks like this. You'll see the Unity platform downloading. Once it's done, click open file. You may or may not get a box that pops up over here, which says... Um, uh, would you like this application to make changes to your device? If you get that, just click yes. Follow the install wizard. And uh, you'll have the Unity platform on your computer. Part of the install wizard is uh, installing a shortcut on your desktop, which looks like this. So we'll double click on that. And you'll see your flat panel. There's really nothing that we need to do in here. Um, but this is what your uh, control panel looks like on the Unity platform. Now, let's go ahead and go into Nina. Equipment. Flat panel. And you'll see a lot of drivers. What you want is... Uh, Pegasus Astro Flat Master. Uh, this is the 250 LED. Now I also have the 150, which is going to be the Pegasus Astro Flat Master. So whichever one you have, if you have the, the Pegasus Astro 150, you want the Pegasus Astro Flat Master. If you have the 250 like I do, you want the Pegasus Astro Flat Master 250. We're going to click on Settings choose your flat panel. You only have to do that once on your initial connection to Nina is the only time you have to open up the settings and click on it. From there we can go ahead and connect to the flat panel. Now we can go ahead and toggle this on. And we can control our brightness. And 
And that's all that it takes to uh, connect your flat panel to Nina. And our next video, we're going to go over how to use this flat panel to uh, get uh, proper flat frames for calibrating our light frames. Now, as always, you don't want to just close out of Nina. You're going to want to make sure that your flat panel is toggled off. And then you want to uh, make sure, just like a computer, you know, you, you don't want to just shut it down. Uh, you always want to shut it down properly. This is the same thing. You want to disconnect your equipment before you close out a Nina. And that's all that it takes. So I hope you found that helpful. If so, please like and subscribe. Uh, again, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. You can comment in the comment section or send me an email hiddenlightinquiries at gmail.com. Uh, until the next video, clear skies.